What's up everybody? Today I'll be making a New York City classic, a grandma slice or a square slice. And it is super delicious and super easy to make. All it takes is some time, a little bit of effort and some good ingredients and you'll have amazing, amazing results. First up, I'll be starting with the ingredients. I have room temperature water. You can also use lukewarm water for this. Flour, yeast, salt and good olive oil. For the tools, I have a quarter sheet pan. You can use whatever pan you have, but a quarter sheet pan works perfectly for this. I have a KitchenAid fitted with a hook attachment. You can also do this by hand, but it will take longer. So that's basically all you'll need for the dough. And we'll be doing it step by step so you can see how to make the sauce and everything else that makes a great grandma slice or a square slice. So now I'll start by mixing my dough. I'll start by adding my flour, yeast, and salt to my mixer. And now I'll turn it on low and let it just incorporate. Now I'll take about 30 seconds. And now I'll slowly add my water. And my olive oil. And now after it has come together a little, I'll turn it up to medium and let it go for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of mixing, this is what you get, a nice dough. And it has a nice stretch to it. And this is what you're looking for, a nice stretch in your dough. So that's a good way to test, see if your dough is ready. And now I'll transfer it into a bowl. And what I'll do, I'll add some oil, some olive oil to my bowl. and I'll place it in there, my dough. And now I'll cover my dough and let it sit until it doubles in size. Next up, I'll be making the sauce for this delicious pizza. I have some olive oil, onions chopped finely, garlic sliced thinly, red pepper flakes, oregano, sugar, crushed tomatoes, some basil, and of course some salt and pepper. For the tools, I have a burner, a pot, and a wooden spoon. And that's basically all you'll need for this delicious, delicious sauce. I'll bring you in a little closer so you can see the cooking process. To my pot, I'll be adding some olive oil. And this is about a tablespoon of olive oil. And now I have my burner on medium to low. And I'll add my onions. And you want to sweat your onions and garlic. This is to bring out the sweetness and flavor. So you don't want any brown on your onions or garlic. You'll sweat your onions and garlic until it's nice and translucent and soft. So after your onions and garlic have sweat and become nice and soft, you'll add some salt, some pepper. You'll add some of the sugar or all of the sugar. You'll add your tomatoes and you'll add your pepper flakes and oregano and you'll let this go for about 30 minutes on medium to low keep an eye on it you don't want it to burn after 30 minutes of cooking your sauce will be nice and chunky and if you don't like it too chunky you can place it in the blender and I did it to this sauce and as you can see it's still chunky but not too chunky now you're ready to build your pizza so now as you can see my pizza dough has doubled in size what I'll do next is I'll coat the bottom with some olive oil. Make sure you coat the bottom nicely. And now I'll take my pizza dough and I'll flip that over. And what you'll do is you're gonna spread this around. So once you're done with that step, you'll take some plastic and cover this. Or you can take a towel and let it rest for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, my dough has relaxed and now I'm ready to build my pizza. I'll start by adding mozzarella cheese and this is grated mozzarella. Next up, I'll add my sauce. Now I'll add my Parmesan cheese. And I'll place this in a 375 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Straight out of the oven, this is our amazing grandma slice and I'll take some fresh basil and I'll place it on top. 
It smells amazing. I'll let it rest for about a couple minutes before I cut into it. So now my pizza is cool for a little. I'll just show you the bottom, how crispy that is. And now I'll cut into it. So here you go, the delicious grandma slice. As you can see, it looks amazing. It smells amazing. I'll let it cool before I bite into it. So here you go, our delicious grandma slice. As you can see, it's fairly simple. It takes a few steps, but I guarantee the taste will be worth the work. Again, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, drop some comments below, and please share and subscribe. And again, please try this recipe. I promise you will love it. Now I'll try it. Amazing.